Hey, it's Aaron from GameThus.com, and today I'm checking out a game called Yes Broccoli from Gangway Games. With the focus of my camera works, that'll be just fine. So, I'm going to answer a couple of questions about Yes Broccoli. What is Yes Broccoli? How does Yes Broccoli play? Who was intended for? And what I continue playing it? So, Yes Broccoli is a card game that the developer designer I recommend for ages six and up for two to five players and it says it takes about 10 to 30 minutes to play so once the box is open you take all the cards out you have a nice variety of different food cards so you have strawberry and the aforementioned broccoli which makes me think of Venus or Serena uh, which I'm completely fine with. Uh, you have various foods, candies are negative, uh, fruits and vegetables uh, give you a lot of points. Ice cream, oh, I love ice cream, but it's also worth negative three points. It's one of those things. For some reason, the mushroom is a vampire. Each player will pick a different color. So you have one through nine of five different colors. And you have what's called power cards. There's enough for everybody to get two, so there are 10 power cards. There's also some blanks in case that's of interest to you. It might be. So how does Yes Broccoli play? The game is focused as a bidding game where you are trying to outbid your opponents to purchase food that is more valuable and sometimes force them to get food that is less valuable. The sum of all the cards that you get at the end of the game, or at the end of eight rounds, is how you win the game. There's a mode that the designers recommend for a younger player where you would give them the nine and everybody else would remove their nine. So the younger player always hypothetically will, has a card that that they can they can win with. So they would get an extra an extra card. And also that's sort of the base game. The base game is everybody has one through eight. Younger players would have one through nine and there would be no power cards. You just straight up bid on the value. The more basic game you would just... You know, all this would be hidden. These would be your hands, essentially. Pick a three, put it down, and your opponent picks a card, and then you reveal. Ta-da! The four wins. However, it gets interesting because you might ask, what it happens if somebody has the exact same card? Broccoli is different. Each card, even though they have the same numerical value, have a different value of broccoli. So this four has five broccolis. This four has only four broccoli. So even though they both have four, this four would win. And I also should mention that I, I do like broccoli. Broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables. Is this game was called Yes Brussels Sprouts. I don't know. I, I might, I don't know. That, that would change things. Not a big fan of the the sprout of Brussels. So anyway, that's that's a basic uh, explanation of how the game goes. So how the power cards come into play. Power cards can be used anytime uh, based on the power cards can be used anytime. Uh, they can be used uh, even before you play, depending on what they say. One of the ones that I definitely liked was the switch your bid card and play with a bid card from your discard pile. Also didn't mention that. When you use one of your cards here, they don't go back into your hand. It's a one-time use. You use your one, that's your one. So I put out a one. I previously played an eight or a nine before. So then I played this card and I switched my one with the nine and then easily won that bid. And it goes in order. So with two player, obviously it's process of elimination similar to playing with more players so if I get this one obviously next player is this one playing with three works the same way it's an order so far as the highest goes first next highest next highest next highest would we'll take the cards that are laid out there and at the end you oh these are also one time use then you add up the score from all your cards that's it that's the game it's pretty it's pretty simple so who is Yes Broccoli for? Yes Broccoli is uh, for, I think, pretty much the ages that the designer uh, 
specify it. Six plus. I think this is maybe even five. It does skew pretty young, I think. Uh, but I like the fact that you can play the basic game with just one through eight for all the older players, one through nine for the younger ones. You can skip the power cards if you want. It depends on you knowing uh, your audience who you're playing with, whether or not you think the power cards would be useful to them or they would understand them. So, Or maybe you can just select specific ones for a younger player. So I think it definitely does skew kind of young, but it's something that's pretty quick and easy for uh, an older, more seasoned player to play maybe in between other games or as a warm-up or something like that. Would I play Yes Broccoli again? I would. I found it fun. There's not much to it, but it is enjoyable to sort of, you know, the mind game of trying to outbid your opponents and acquire more valuable vegetables. And using your power cards, that's kind of cool when you definitely find a really good use for them and you play a card at the right time just to make somebody really upset. It's, it's very fun. Um, one thing I don't think I like is I like the, the artwork. I, I definitely like the artwork of the different fruits and vegetables. I mean, you have a blueberry that's a ninja for some reason. Zucchini. You have soda, who's, I guess, I don't know if that's, is it cannibalism if you're drinking yourself? I don't know how that works. Is that, I guess that's still cannibalism. He, he's drinking, yeah, that, that's not good. Ah, chips. Uh, the, yeah, okay, the mustache, okay, the hair, okay, okay. Beans. So, yeah, the artwork is really, it's, it really looks nice. It, it, it definitely put in some, some work there. Chicken worth two. Look at that. Fish. Worth four. Rocking out. Underwater. Yeah, I like the artwork. It's a relatively simple game. Uh, easy to play. Goes pretty quickly. And skews for a wide variety of ages. One thing I appreciate is the mechanic of the broccoli itself. Uh, the, the fact that that's how you break ties, I think, is pretty neat. Now, I guess if you played a whole lot, you could maybe figure out what color has lower value cards with higher broccoli. You know, uh, the number the one here has three broccoli. The one here has two broccolis. I mean, maybe someone would take the time to do that, but why? <laughs> you could. That says a lot about you. Yes, I'm judging. That's going to do it for this one. If you tuned in for all this time, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Some stuff should be on the screen that you can click on to watch other videos, leave comments on, subscribe if you haven't already, like if you haven't already, all those good things. Uh, these interesting times, wash your hands, be kind to other people, help out when you can. Thank you. Take care. Be blessed.